Jacob Lawrence was born in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and raised in New York City's Harlem. He is considered the most important African-American artist of the 20th century and is amongst one of the most widely acclaimed artists of all time. He's referred to his art as dynamic cubism, but his influence wasn't French. It was actually the shapes and colors of Harlem. At the young age of 24, he gained fame by creating his 60-panel migration series, a significant piece that showed the migration of Black Americans from the South to industrial cities of the North. It ended up showing at the Downtown Gallery in New York City in 1941, and he became the first Black artist to be represented at a mainstream gallery. In February 1953, Time Magazine declared Jacob Lawrence the nation's, and probably the world's, foremost Negro painter. When mentioning Jacob Lawrence, typically he's connected to the Harlem Renaissance, but in fact, he was a product of the Harlem Renaissance and was taught by the likes of Augusta Savage, Charles Alston, and Henry Barnard, key players in the Harlem Renaissance. He even tackled mental health after being overwhelmed and depressed by the success he'd reached at a young age and voluntarily entering psychiatric care for four months before creating his hospital series. He wanted to convey that Black history is American history, and it's time that everyone acknowledged that. He died of cancer in 2000.